At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Register for free today. Attend Chronic Arthritic Pain on Wednesday, April 10th at 6 p.m. Space is limited, so register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellecare.com. The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Dr. Tom Rosell here. Got a great program for you today. We're going to be talking about, you know, why you're so stiff and you're hurt and that wear and tear and all those things that make your bones break down and wear down and can affect any joint in your body from your knees, your hips, to your spine, to your hands. It's called osteoarthritis, but it's degenerative osteoarthritis, and we'll kind of walk through those weeds a little bit. And I want to remind you that coming up on April the 10th, at 6 p.m. at the Results Center for Healing, I'm going to be talking about degenerative arthritis and what you can do about it. And can it be reversed? The literature medically says once you're broken, you're broken. But I'm here to tell you that there are other ways of handling this without surgery, without going through major total hip restructuring and things of that nature. You know, that's a personal topic for me. And I'm going to let you know uh, on the 10th, what happened to me and what can be done. And because I was uh, kind of going to be the medical, you know, model of, of, you know, total hips and all those things. But guess what? There is a way of getting around that. And we'll discuss all those things and making sure that you have all the information so you can take control, like always, of your own health because your health is a do-it-yourself program. My job is to get you the data. Your job is to check it out and and do what's necessary to restore and help yourself. So we're going to talk about degenerative arthritis, a little bit about degenerative disc disease and arthritis today. We'll get more into that later on. But I want you to know that this is an area that you have more control over than you think, because at the end of the day, what what happens is this, you know, this wear and tear, you know, what do you expect for your age type of thing? You have to have a s- stage set for it to break down. Now, remember something and listen to my words carefully. Muscles move bone. Bones don't move out of position by themselves. They will move if there's trauma, but then the muscles lock up and tighten up and go into spasm. And then you have this ongoing process of the wrong position, just like an earthquake that affects the body, that earthquake will begin to cause the building to shift on its platform. And pretty soon you see more cracks in the ceiling. Well, if your structural system is not balanced properly, if you're not in a good postural position, if you're working in conditions that allow your body to be abnormal and you're not doing anything about it, and then you put, you know, on top of that, you're putting you know, the repair process uh, back seat because you're eating sugar, sodas, coffee, black teas, fast food, fried foods, alcohol, gluten additives. You know my mantra. Those of you who've been to my seminars, you've heard me say it a, um, a million times repetitively, but that's the truth. You have to have things that work. You know, last night we went out for dinner and <clears throat> we we're sitting talking to a friend and uh, my wife, who many of you know, Sue was the head of our uh, nutrition department for well over 25 years, and she still does consulting with our two nutritionists in our practice. And what we were saying and what we brought about is simply this. The food in this country, particularly in the United States of good old America, is not the quality that it used to be, but also it is not comparable to foods in Italy and central France and in South America and so forth. Why? Simply because of this. It's so manipulated and modified that it no longer resembles what the good Lord put it on the planet to look like. So when you have something that is non-organic and it doesn't specifically say non-GMO, you're looking at a product that 
has been altered in some way. And that alteration now has an impact on your body's ability to heal and be able to restore and uh, change the, the degeneration, the breakdown. And we want you to understand that because if you're going to fix something, you have to fix the things that you're supposed to have to be able to resolve problems. You know, I was watching a program uh, the other night and it was about uh, the finding of different skeletal remains going back thousands of years. And these people that they found were, they estimated to be in their 40s and 50s and so forth. And their bodies were pretty good pres preserved. And here's their skulls. And you know what the interesting thing was? They had teeth. They had teeth in their heads. And in our world today, as people get older, they've either been to the dentist, they have all kinds of artificial teeth, or they have loss of bone so the teeth are wobbly and they fall out afterwards and so forth but here's these skeletal remains now why do i bring that up because the same conditions that bring about loss of bone mass and subsequently teeth falling out are the same conditions often that allow for the constant development of degenerative disease that we call arthritis and so I want you to understand that there is a way around this and that you can begin to restore certain things. So we're going to talk about that inflammatory reaction. We're going to talk about you know, uh, injury patterns that have taken place. So when you're looking at these things, and by the way, today on my live stream program, immediately after this, I'm going to be talking with a medical physician by the name of uh, Dr. Shannon Gidon. And uh, Shannon... Uh, understands this whole matrix very well. We're going to actually be talking about biopeptides and how the body stimulates its repair process. And make sure you join us afterwards. All you have to go to is drtomrozell.com and click immediately. We got that all set up now so it works seamlessly. Or if you follow me on any of the social media streams, you'll be able to uh, go right in from your cell phones or wherever you happen to be. So listen up. Uh, I think you're going to find it extremely interesting, but also give you an understanding that there's so much that can be changed and your body produces its own peptide structures. And we'll tell you what that's all about later on. But let's get back into what we're talking about, this degenerative nonsense that shows up. So osteoarthritis or degenerative disease of the joint spaces affects millions and millions of people worldwide. But you know what? More here than virtually any place else on a percentage basis. Osteoarthritis can damage any joint. And, you know, but the uh, problem usually affects what? Our hands and our hips and our spine and our neck. And, you know, it's, it's awful. And shoulders in which, you know, most people don't realize that, you know, that degenerative disease is shoulder. So what can be done? In the medical literature, it says that joints cannot, or degenerative joint disease, if you will, cannot be reversed. Now, I don't agree with that because I've seen over 47 years of clinical practice, too many people who have had reversal of degenerative processes, increase in joint space movement, restoration of degenerative discs and so forth. So if that's the case, you know, those uh, narrowing of the disc spaces and the bone spurs and so forth, if that's the case that these things can be made better minimally and reversed under certain uh, situations, wouldn't it be appropriate to really understand what the initiators were so you don't have to go through all the craziness that will allow you to have to spend a lot of money, a lot of time, and so forth. So that's what we're going to talk about on the 10th. So osteoarthritis occurs when the cartilage, that cushion, if you will, in between bones, and every joint space has that, begins to break down and begins, and the term would be, gradually deteriorate. I'm not so sure that it's gradual and for some patients. If it's a perfect storm where you have high levels of inflammatory reaction and you don't have anything to put the fire out, and now you have this aberration of postural integrity. It's not there anymore, or you have an accident, or you get hurt. Guess what happens? Then your body begins to break down much faster, and the deterioration of the connective tissues is what we're really talking about. Uh, 
they go crazy. They get dosed. So, you know, they talk about risk factors, right? We're talking about people who get older. It's not old age. It's the neglect of our body over time and subsequently we get older. But it's because we've neglected ourselves. And, you know, we talk about that uh, women are more likely to develop osteoarthritis than guys are. But, you know, let me tell you something. Maybe at a certain point, women seem to, you know, the hormones drop more exponentially than than guys do. But guys, you go into that andropause as well. And so you increase the risk uh, of joint degeneration because of hormone imbalances and the lack of protein. And then that's a, probably a bigger one. Women tendency over time seem to be less when it comes to eating the right amounts of proteins to restore normal function. And by the way, there's peptides in that thing. So we're going to talk about later on today in the live stream. Now, here's the other piece. Are you carrying too much weight? You know, like are you, you know, you got that paid for waistline that shouldn't be there that you don't, you know, you don't have pride in keeping it smaller or doing even some, as it's all over the internet now, chair yoga or chair exercises, they're doing a little bit of core work, you know, to keep things intact. Also, how about the inflammatory reactions that take place because, you know, we just talked about our diet. So we have to make sure that we check off the boxes. How about repetitive, you know, injury patterns? You're playing in sports, but you take it to an extreme. And you still think that you're 17 years old and when you take a fall, you're, you know, it's not going to cause a problem. Well, that fall, that minimal fall, sometimes what happens distorts your postural integrity. And now you have that imbalance that's going to cause your body to break down. So we have to look at those things. We have to look at metabolic patterns. How about if you're, you know, you're bordering on that diabetic pattern? How about if you have too much iron? It's called hemochromocytosis. Um that can predispose to an advanced rapid deterioration of arthritic conditions. So this osteoarthritis or this degenerative arthritis, if you will, is something that we use as kind of a catch-all, but without asking the question, why did it come about? Why me instead of something else? Well, if you ask me the why me question, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you exactly where it came from, and that's one of the things that we're going to do on the 10th, and so make sure you join, uh, join us then. You know, so the why is going to be answered, and also the how and the advancement over a period of time. Now, a diagnosis of degenerative arthritic disease is made with several things, history, an examination, and imaging. Now, to confirm where it's coming from and to differentiate it into things like autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid and psoriatic arthritis and things like that, which we'll get into very specifically later on, not today, but we're going to pick those apart as well. What I want you to understand about that is that the diagnosis has to be done including very specific blood work and not just an ANA, an anti-nuclear antibody, which is a catch-all thing. Well, oh, you have inflammatory reaction. Yeah, well, maybe, but where's it coming from? Is that, is that a diagnosis for arthritis? And sometimes they won't even send you, they won't do a good study. How about range of motion studies? I mean, really true range of motion. And to differentiate, is a muscle working and not working? Oh, you might have arthritis. They haven't even done anything to look at it. Now, remember I told you, I think it was last week or a week before that, I said that, I have patients who have horrible looking spines and they don't have a lot of pain and they have pretty decent range of motion. I also have patients who have very little on an x-ray or a CAT scan or an MRI and they are in horrible pain, but they were diagnosed with an arthritic condition and all the pieces just don't fit. So if they don't fit, what is really going on? And that's the thing that you have to know. What is causing the problem? Now, here's the, the end piece. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Did the inflammatory reactions that came about because of bad diet or exposures to things like viruses and bacteria and parasites and heavy metals and things like that, toxic metals is what I'm talking about, is, did that set the stage 
So there's a little bit of a, you know, a blow or an aberration or being out of shape and so forth. And now this whole degenerative mechanism takes place, maybe. Or did you have an injury and you were in pretty good shape before that, but you ignore the injury and you really didn't do anything about it. Your doctor said, here, take this and in the, it should take, uh, take care of the pain. It does. It knocks down the pain receptor cycle within the body. But now what happens is you continue to degenerate without the warning sign called pain. So it can go one or two ways. And then if you have both ends of it all at one time, now you're in real trouble. So if somebody comes in with, you know, my doctor said I had or have osteoarthritis and, you know, what can you do about it? I'm going to look at the patient and I'm going to say a lot or maybe just a little. And they're going to look at me like, what do you mean a lot or just a little? You know, that's kind of counterintuitive, right? So I'm going to say, how willing are you to do what it takes to respect your body at a place where you can begin to resolve and turn things around? And they look at me and say, what do you mean? And so if you're going to be a patient of mine, one of the things that you have to do is you have to go online and our website and watch this video explaining how the body works, because I need you as a partner to be able to resolve this stuff. It's not a do it to you program. It, health is a do it yourself program with me guiding you and the mechanisms for you to be able to resolve. You know, we got a great team in, at the Results Center. These guys are amazing. Dr. Harlan Browning, who you'll meet, and many of you have never met him, on the 10th. We call him the professor for a reason. This guy is amazing and is the intellectual basis of being able to talk about things that are very difficult and bring it into a very simple format. You'll enjoy his presentations. Those of you who know Dr. Browning know that he is really a magician when it comes to education, but also a clinician. He's a top shelf. We, we begin to put together in this particular situation – you have to put together all the pieces. You have to fix the structural neurological damage that might be there. And you start by making sure that the structural system is in position. And we talk about vertebrae being out of place. In our world, we call it a spinal subluxation. And what that really means is the vertebrae are slightly out of position in a way that they're causing an aberration of the signaling from the cord, from the brain to the cord, to the nerve roots, to the organ, to the muscle. And so things aren't working the way they're supposed to. We look at the, the biochemistry, right? What do we mean by that? Anything that's outside the body, things that you consume that you have no business consuming, things that you know you need more of that you don't put in there. But how about the electrical fields? How many of you are on your phones all day long? Let me tell you something. That's having a major impact in your body's processing relative to muscle strength and so forth. How many of you wear those silly Apple watches constantly? Do you know that that changes your electrical field? So now things are not moving the way we're supposed to. We're going to talk about all those things as well. But hey, listen, you have to understand something. Knowing that these things are there without taking action, in my world, is tantamount to you have a gun to your head and you're about ready to pull the trigger. So it, maybe it's better to be ignorant and, you know, just blame it on, oh, well, it's, it's, you know, what do I expect from my age? Or maybe, you know, that you can say, okay, this is what's causing it. Now, I want my life and my health much more than I want these habits that I've gotten myself into. And so that's the piece that we want to really focus on. So we're going to talk about those things. And the last piece is what? Remember I said three? The last piece is the decision processing of your mind. Not the anxiety, not the depression. Those are symptoms of neglect and things that your body goes into biochemical imbalances and so forth. Those are the other two sides of the triad. But what we're talking about is the decision that you make, your body takes as being valid and moves it forward. You know, like what do you expect for your age? If you own that and you continue to say that repetitively, ongoingly, your body says, well, you know, I'm getting older and I should be breaking down and that's the way it happens. And so, or, you know, my environment sucks. You know, I, I'm, I'm in a stress pressure cooker all the time and I can't get away from it. And that's why my body's breaking down. Okay. And your body will say, yes, indeed. 
that's the way it is. And it will walk in tandem with that comment and that command and that belief system that you have. So you see that in the world of our body physiologically, in the world that we call our health, there's three sides that we really have to look at. And we're responsible for them across the board. The biochemical piece, the neurological piece, the decision-making process. And we've seen that over and over and over again. And we don't take the responsibility. That's why I wrote my book. That's why I wrote the book called Ageless Health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. And it's still available, by the way. You can go to drtomrozell.com and you'll find it there. I think we even have it on rozellcare.com as well. And understand that you have the ability to make things a hell of a lot better than what they are right now. You have the capacity, if you will, to change virtually anything that goes on in your health world, providing that you decide that you're going to do it. You know, And a very dear friend of mine, a guy by the name, many of you know, Tony Robbins, uh, once said, never leave the site of a decision without taking action at that moment on that decision, right? So if you're listening to this program and you know that you've got something called degenerative arthritis and you know you know that it's an inflammatory reaction, uh, here's the deal. Get online, <clears throat> go to rosellecare.com, R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E, and... Sign up for the class on April the 10th. Be there, 6 p.m. at the Result Center for Healing in Fairfax. The weather's great. No excuses. Come and join us. You'll have some fun. We're very proud of our practice, very proud of our staff in our office. But more importantly, we're there for you. We're there for you. We're there to make sure that you have everything that you need to restore your health at the highest level possible. So join us. 6 p.m. on the 10th. We're going to be there for you. And don't forget, as soon as we're done right now, immediately follow me into live stream. We're going to be talking about biopeptides and how they affect you. And remember, I do this every week ongoingly in a live program, which it is, for one reason, one reason only, simply these two comments. You deserve the information. And more importantly, I love you all. Have a great Sunday. Bye. Breast cancer is a major health risk to all women. It can silently grow uninterrupted for years. The Thermography Centers of Fairfax reminds all women to conduct monthly and annual breast exams. Consider a thermography scan from the Thermography Centers as an adjunct to your routine breast exams. Digital infrared thermal imaging is safe and non-invasive. For more information and to schedule an appointment, call 703-520-7591 or visit thermographycenters.com. Neuromuscular dentistry is more than just teeth and gums. Temporomandibular joint disorder is a very painful disorder, which only a skilled neuromuscular dentist can diagnose and treat. If you're in pain and suffering from TMJ, call the neuromuscular dentistry experts at Soft Touch Dental Care. Learn more about TMJ and how Dr. Michael Chung DDS has successfully treated patients. Visit softtouchdentalcare.com or call 703-319-6990. At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Register for free today. Attend Chronic Arthritic Pain on Wednesday, April 10th at 6 p.m. Space is limited, so register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 43 years of practice and over a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. That's rosellcare.com. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. 
Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com.